Now let's look at market trends. The trend is your friend is a saying in Forex and it's a saying for very good and strong reasons. Trading against the trend is something very difficult and something that even very experienced traders have difficult to do. So you always want to be in the direction of the trend of the market. Now, how do you identify a trend? Well, an uptrend, for example, you will identify it by it having a low, a starting point, then a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, and so on. A downtrend is, of course, moving down and has its starting point, the high, moves down to its low, then creates a lower high, a lower low, lower high, and so on. So let's look at real life examples on the charts. Now we're back at the AUD CAD and this whole area here is an uptrend as you can see the market is moving upwards now let's see how i identify this being a trend and where the low and high swing points are so the areas of interest here for identifying the trend is we have a low we have a high we have a higher low which is crucial for our uptrend of course we have a higher high now we have another higher low, a uh, higher high, and that that's how it goes. It moves on higher low, higher low, higher high, higher low, and a high. And and for the trend to be valid, for the structure to be valid, it always has to create a new higher high and a new higher low. That's an uptrend. And the downtrend is the opposite. So straight after here, you have the downtrend, high. You have a low, you have a lower high, and you have a lower low. And that's it. So what you see here is a trend that moves upwards, an uptrend, and here we see a downtrend. And that's how it goes. And also you can consider trends as sloping support and resistance. So here, for example, you see that the market is having support a resistance 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 and so on same thing here market is moving down what is it support support so you can always consider trends as sloping support and resistance they will also have a resistance and a support level as you see here and that is a very basic overview on trends and what you need to know to understand market structure and price action mm -hmm.